A lot of people out there are talking about high income skills that'll make you $10,000 a month or more in a short time without going back to college. Sounds great, right? Well, the problem is there are a few of these high income skills that get all the hype. And when they get hype, a lot of people learn them. And once a lot of people learn them, then they aren't high income skills anymore because now they're common. For example, Facebook advertising, high ticket closing, organic social media, funnel building. Every one of those was a high income skill at one time, but now that so many people are doing them, it's a saturated market. It's really hard to stand out. You might think that these skills are the most valuable because everyone's talking about them, but the truth is they're not the most valuable. They're just the most advertised. Think about it. Facebook ads is super hyped because Ty Lopez hyped it. Funnel building is super hyped because Russell Brunson and ClickFunnels hyped it. Both Russell Brunson and Ty Lopez are really, really good at creating hype. It's kind of their job. And I'm not knocking these. If you started learning Facebook ads eight years ago, you'd be set. But now is not eight years ago. The best opportunities are the ones that few people know about. The blue oceans. As opposed to the red oceans where there's blood in the water from everyone trying to compete in the same space. I'm going to show you three of these blue oceans. Three skills that are super valuable now and that not many people are doing. Now being 2024 when I'm making this video. If you're watching this in 2030, things may have changed. What makes a high value skill? The most valuable skills you can learn are the ones that are closest to the money. If you don't know what that means, watch this video about market economics. Actually, you should watch this video regardless. Knowing this stuff will make your life so much easier. The easiest way to be close to the money is to learn skills in sales and or marketing because you're the one bringing in customers to the business. You're the one getting them paid. Now, this isn't new. If you look at all the hyped up skills, they're all sales and marketing skills. The problem is the skills people talk about are either oversaturated or they're super broad. For example, a lot of people out there are pushing copywriting. Saying that you should learn copywriting is kind of like saying that you should learn marketing. Yes, copywriting is valuable, but it's such a broad subject, it's hard to know where to get started. And if you don't know, copywriting just means writing that sells stuff. Almost everything in marketing involves copywriting, writing sales pages, writing ads, writing video scripts, writing emails, writing social media posts. So trying to learn copywriting just isn't very helpful. It's better if you start specific. All three of the skills that I'm going to show you involve copywriting, but they're not the same. They're different kinds of copywriting. I'm going to show you the three skills as well as how to learn them and start getting paid ASAP. The process is the same for all of them. Learn, practice, sell. If you read my fastest way to $100,000 post, you know what that means already. I'll put a link to that in the description. You really should read it if you haven't already. Done? Okay, let's dive into the three skills. Skill number one is YouTube ads. Skill number one is YouTube ads. I love YouTube ads. I've spent literally $188,000 of my own money on YouTube ads. Don't worry, I made a lot more than that back. Because I'm good at YouTube ads, I've been able to sell affiliate products, sell my own products, get paid to create ads for businesses, and get paid to consult other businesses on their YouTube ads. And by the way, if you know anyone who has a product and wants to get sales on autopilot with YouTube ads, have them send me an email at chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. This skill can make you a ton of money, whether you have a product or service yourself, or you help other companies sell their products and services. Even big corporations are getting into YouTube ads lately, though they don't really do a very good job of it. The YouTube ads that work the best are the ones that are authentic, which is great for you as a normal person just getting started, but bad for the companies. They seem to have a hard time being authentic, you know, unless you help them. Now, just in case you're not clear, I'm talking about creating and running video ad campaigns on YouTube. I'm not talking about posting YouTube videos and hoping that people watch them. That's already a saturated market. I'm talking about running paid ads on YouTube. You know, the ones you have to skip after five seconds to watch your videos. Everyone is trying to do Facebook ads, but YouTube ads are a much better opportunity. They work better than Facebook ads for a lot of businesses and there's much less competition. Not only because there isn't so much hype around YouTube ads, but also because you have to make videos for YouTube ads. Most people are lazy and want the easiest option. It's easier to make a Facebook ad than a YouTube ad, so most people do Facebook. The problem is everybody else is doing Facebook too, 
So they might save an hour or two making an ad, but then spend hundreds of hours pulling their hair out because nobody wants to hire them. Now let's get into how to go about learning and profiting from the skill of YouTube ads. Step number one is to learn. There are a few things that you have to learn in order to be able to do YouTube ads effectively. You have to learn writing video scripts, recording video, editing video, and targeting. Remember when I said that everything involves copywriting? Well, writing video scripts is copywriting, but that's only one step out of four. You also need to be able to record video, edit, and actually run the ads. Now, step two is practice. It's not enough just to learn about YouTube ads. You have to practice the skills and get results. If you have your own offer to sell, then the easiest way to start is just by creating ads to sell your own offer. If not, you'll have to find another offer to practice on. There are two ways to do this. The first is to find a business owner who will agree to have you run ads to sell his product. It's a little tricky to get someone to agree to this because even if you work for free, the business owner is still probably paying for the ad costs. And if you don't have proven results yet, business owners might worry that their ad spend is just gonna be wasted. So you'll either have to find someone who's willing to cut you some slack while you develop your skills, and the best way is to find a business owner that you know personally or that's a friend of a friend. Or you can start with a bit of your own money, just until you get some early results. The other option is to start with an affiliate product. An affiliate product is an online offer that you can sell for someone else. You get a unique link, and when someone buys through your link, you get a percentage of the sale price. This is the easiest way to start because you don't have to convince anybody to let you work for them. You just go to an affiliate site such as clickbank.com, choose a product, and put your affiliate link in your YouTube ads. For that matter, you can sell my products if you like. I pay 75% commission. That is, if you sell a product for $1,000, you get 750 of it. Send me an email if you're interested, chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. Whichever way you choose, the important thing is that you get results in terms of either lead. Now, step three is to charge. Once you have results to show, then you can start charging businesses to run ads for them. If you're already working for a business for free, you can tell them that the free trial period is over and now you're gonna charge them. And you can start looking for new clients as well. Now, there are a few ways to package and sell your YouTube ads expertise. Number one is you can sell as a package. So you say, I will write, record, and edit five YouTube ad videos for $5,000 or something like that. Number two is a monthly retainer. You say, I'll create and run a full YouTube ad campaign for you for $1,000 a month. Number three is a consulting package. So you can say, I'll help you write your scripts, tell you exactly how to record your ads, and help you find the best targeting options for a one-time price of $5,000. Any of those will work. If you're new, the monthly retainer is the easiest sell. It's the lowest cost upfront, and you can offer a risk reversal, something like it's $1,000 a month, no contract, and if you're not satisfied with the results after the first month, you don't have to pay me anything at all. That way you're lowering the risk to the client. So that's the basics if you wanna get into YouTube advertising. I'm actually thinking about making a course or a coaching program of my own to teach people how to do YouTube ads. Feel free to contact me or leave a comment below if you'd be interested in that. The more people that are interested, the more likely I am to do it. Okay, skill number two is cold email. Here's a marketing challenge for you. Let's say that you work for a company that sells some fancy business software to big companies. You can't sell to just anyone at these companies. You have to sell to the executives. And maybe there's just one or two people in the whole company who have the ability to make the decision to buy your software, such as the chief technology officer, the chief information officer. Your software is expensive, so the only companies that are realistically going to buy from you are $50 million and above companies. There are only a few thousand people in the world that fit the criteria to be your customers. How do you market to these people? Well, one of the best ways is through cold email. That is, sending emails to people who don't know who you are yet. Now, that might sound spammy, but it's what a lot of the most successful B2B companies are doing because it works. And your customers don't feel like you're being spammy if you're really offering something that they really, really want. Cold email is a great skill to have for a few reasons. It's basically free. You don't have to pay for ads. You can make big commissions. It's like selling real estate, but much less hassle. And it's a super useful skill to have if you ever want to sell a B2B product of your own. 
Now, when I say B2B, what I mean is business to business, by the way. That is, you sell a product for businesses rather than just for individual people. You can get very high paying jobs if you have this skill. You can use it to sell affiliate products and or you can sell for other companies as a freelancer and you can make a lot of money any of those three ways. So how do you get started with cold email? Well, here are the steps. As usual, step number one is learn. There are three parts that you wanna learn in order to be successful with cold email. Number one is prospecting, two is writing emails, three is automating. The first part is prospecting. What this means is we're figuring out who we want to sell to and finding their email addresses. Because you're selling to only a small number of people, you need to do some research to find their contact information. There are a bunch of companies that will sell you lists of contacts based on their job titles, on the company size, on industry, and other helpful criteria. And you can also go exploring for yourself. Right, you can look in Facebook groups and industry magazines, company websites, etc., and pull people's contact information yourself. This can be time consuming, but if one sale can make you $50,000 in commissions, then you may find that it's worth the effort. Once you've got a list of prospects, you have to write your emails. Hey, look, we're copywriting again. And you can either write one generic email and send it out to everyone on the list, or you can personalize the emails to each individual. That is, you start the email by mentioning something that's unique to that person, like congratulating them for getting promoted or winning an industry award. This way takes longer, it takes some research, but it's more effective. Once you've written your emails, you wanna automate the process as much as possible. There's software you can use to send your emails automatically on a schedule. You can even create a spreadsheet with all of your prospects' names and email addresses, Add the customized first line of each email and the software will send the full email with each customized first line automatically. You can hire people such as virtual assistants to do the boring, time-consuming part of the work for you. Since the work is easy, you don't have to pay very much. Step number two, practice. As always, you want to practice your new skills until you get real results. There are a few good ways to do this. You could do it by offering to work for free for a B2B business, or better yet, work for commissions. This is an easy sell because the company doesn't have to pay you anything until they make money first, so it's zero risk for them. You also don't have to convince them to pay for ads since email is free. You could even start by using cold email to find businesses to hire you to do cold email. Right, here's a message that you could send. Hi John, congrats on hitting the Forbes 5000 list, that's super exciting. Are you by any chance doing cold email marketing? It's the best thing out there for B2B businesses right now. It's hyper-targeted and basically free. If you like, I could set up an email campaign for you. I work on commissions only, so no risk to you at all. Interested? As soon as you get someone to say yes, then you're in business. Now, step number three is to sell. Once you've gotten your first client some results, you can talk about those results to get your next client. You can sell them on a monthly retainer or just keep working on commission. You can make a lot of money on commission if you're good. If you'd like to learn more about cold email, a friend of mine has a free training that I highly recommend. It's where I learned a lot of this stuff. His training is specifically for tech sales, but the same process works for any B2B business. I'll put a link in the description to that free training. Okay, now skill number three is follow-up. Want to know a secret about business owners in general? We suck it following up. Seriously, we all know that the fortune is in the follow-up. That is, most people don't buy right away. They need to hear from you a few times before they're willing to buy. And a lot of us have big lists of email addresses and phone numbers of people who are interested in our stuff, but we don't follow up nearly as much as we should. This is a golden opportunity for someone like you. You can find some business owners that already know they should be following up more, but aren't, usually because they're super busy. And you can offer to do their follow-ups for them. This is a big value add to the business. It's free, and you make sales easily because the people you're following up with already know the business and are interested in the product. So how do you get started? Well, step one, as usual, is to learn. First, you need to learn the skill. There are three parts to it writing emails and or text messages, using autoresponder software, and optimizing deliverability. I'll explain what each of these mean. Writing emails and text messages is copywriting, yet again. Note that this is different than cold email because you're writing to people who are already signed up for the company's email list. So you're coming from a different frame. 
Once you write an email or text message, you send it using a software called an autoresponder. Basically, it's a software that sends an email or a text message out to a whole bunch of people all at one time. Then you may need to work on deliverability as well. Deliverability means how successfully your message gets through to people's inboxes. Ideally, you want to land in people's main inbox because if you get stuck in promotions or worse, spam, then people probably aren't going to see your emails. This deliverability part is optional, but it's a big value add. In fact, I know of a young kid who made himself a millionaire at like 19 years old just by focusing on deliverability alone because it's boring and business owners don't want to deal with it. But it's also super valuable, so they'll pay someone else a lot of money to deal with it for them. Now, step number two is practice. As you're learning the skills, you want to practice them. To do this, you'll need a list of email addresses of people who signed up for something and an autoresponder software. Getting people to give you their email addresses is a bit tricky. You need to advertise some free thing and then get people to give you their email so that they can get the free thing. You can do this with an affiliate product, but you'll also have to find a way to drive traffic. That is, to get people to see your free thing in the first place, which is a whole other skill of its own. Of course, I use YouTube ads to do this. An easier way to start would be to reach out to business owners and offer to write follow-up emails for them for free or for a commission on the sale, since that's no financial risk for them. But you have to do something to prove that you're competent, because if you're not and you send crappy emails to the business owner's email list, you're going to make him look bad. So you have to write some sample emails to show the business owner to prove that you're competent. A great way to do this would be to write a follow-up email for every business owner that you're going to reach out to without them even asking, and then send it to them. Something like, hey John, I love what you're doing with ABC Solutions. I wrote this follow-up email for you to get your audience to sign up for your tax accounting course. It's attached below. Feel free to use it however you like. I'm not asking anything in return. If you'd like, I can write more follow-up emails for you. I don't charge anything up front. I work purely on commission. Interested? That's an easy sell if the email that you wrote for them is good. Okay, now step three is to sell. Once you get a client and you start sending some follow-ups for him, track your results. Autoresponders will show you the open rate, click rate, and number of people who bought because of each email. Once you have some results, it's easy to go to other business owners and say, I got $100,000 in sales with just five emails for John Smith. Want me to write some follow-up emails for you? You can work out a monthly retainer or just keep working on commission. Commission is always an easier sell and you can make a lot of money that way. If you're interested in learning more about following up, I recommend checking out a guy named Ian Stanley. I don't have a link to any of his stuff specifically, but search for his name and I'm sure you'll find him. Okay, so those are the three skills, but I want to leave you with one more thing before we go here. There are a ton of opportunities out there and it's easy to get paralyzed trying to figure out which one to do. My advice is just to pick one that sounds good to you and start taking action. Don't obsess about finding the best opportunity. Find one that sounds good and run with it. They all work. Just pick one. If you want to learn YouTube ads, send me an email or let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I gave you plenty of other links to follow. And to go more in depth on this process of turning a high income skill into a one person business, take a look at my post on the fastest way to $100,000. Again, there's a link in the description. Ciao.